again enable uh, the flight controllers at the ATV Control Center in Toulouse, France, an opportunity to check out its systems. And for Russian flight controllers at the Russian Mission Control Center in Korolyov, you're seeing there in a view from a balcony camera overlooking that cavernous flight control room, uh, an opportunity to make sure that the systems on Zvezda are in good shape and ready to support docking. Yeah. No spacecraft and the new ones have can boast that they went completely successfully. But that I mean not even the shuttle because we yeah, had the Challenger and Columbia. And Soyuz is says Soyuz eleven. I don't know I don't remember any progress failures, but there was there has to be at least one. I think. And Dometro. Uh, range 100 meters, good visual on the target. Uh, confirming attitude system readiness. Let's put it this way, no spacecraft is completed. It's um, switching to the uh, uh, range rule use. This way, nothing, like no spacecraft is completed. You went through his career without having one incident. Put it that way, that's the easiest thing. Here in uh, Mission Control in Houston, uh, the visiting vehicle officer, Heidi Paris, and her team of flight controllers uh, in the back room, uh, all indicating uh, thumbs up on uh, the stability and the rock solid approach of the Georges Lamatra automated transfer vehicle to the next station keeping point uh, that will be just 62 feet. Uh, away from the aft port of Zvezda. So, yeah. There's a view of uh, Heidi Paris, uh, a veteran uh, visiting vehicle officer uh, with a model of the automated transfer vehicle at her console. Uh, she is uh, supported uh, not only here in Houston uh, by a team of uh, uh, support uh, engineers, but also uh, with uh, a team of flight controllers uh, on station uh, at the ATV Control Center in Toulouse, France, who yep. are also uh, working with their uh, European Space Agency counterparts uh, to pour over the data, uh, as they have been for the past two weeks, ensuring okay. that uh, the Georges Lamatra yep. uh, and its uh, yep. myriad of systems mm -hmm. are in good shape to support the final phase mm -hmm. of rendezvous today that should result and contact and capture with the aft port of Zvezda and its uh, docking mechanism mm -hmm. about 38 minutes from now. Okay, 38 minutes until docking. So just over half an hour, if I'm correct. Oh, wait, one second. Yep. Oh, wow, that's yep. just beautiful. That's just beautiful. Based on the uh, range ruler measurement, the so range yeah. is 75 meters. Visual on the target is nominal, and the systems are nominal. Copy all. Yep. Okay, so the ATV-5 on approach, that docking mechanism, docking mechanism, I can talk right, is the same as um, the ones used on Soyuz's, 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 uh, is that thing approaching, um, I'm just, oh yeah, oh, 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 that thing is massive, oh god, oh shit, so massive, so big, so big. Uh, I don't know how this works, but... As mentioned earlier, uh, the uh, docking of the Georges Lamatra to the uh, Zvezda service module today uh, begins uh, a two-day process uh, that uh, Alexander Gerst of the European Space Agency and uh, Alexander Skvortsov uh, his uh, cosmonaut colleague uh, from Roscosmos uh, will be uh, involved in. Uh, they uh, will 
tomorrow conduct uh, what is called an initial ingress into the ATV, essentially uh, conducting leak checks, opening up the hatch uh, to uh, Georges Lamatra, installing clamps, and then installing air uh, cleansing equipment uh, for about a 24-hour uh, scrub of the earth of the uh, ATV's atmosphere following its two-week uh, journey uh, from its launch pad uh, in Kourou, French Guiana. The actual uh, final ingress uh, with the air scrubbing having been completed uh, will not occur until the wee hours Thursday morning, at which point Gerst and Skvortsov will begin to unload uh, uh, the ATV's cargo in a very methodical process, quite a bit of cargo being carried on board, 5,910 pounds of dry cargo. Uh, some 1,900 pounds of transfer propellant that will be automatically transferred into the tanks uh, in the Russian segment of the International Space Station, leaving some 4,670 pounds of uh, prop uh, available in the ATV itself for reboosts and other maneuvers of the station when required. There are some 1,858 pounds of water, 220 pounds of gas, and a pair of oxygen tanks and one tank of air, a total of some 14 1,555 pounds of cargo and supplies, 7.2 tons in this final uh, delivery call for the European Automated Transfer Vehicle. Okay, that is one very lot of cargo and two such a beautiful spacecraft. I know I've said this like a million times, but you can never say it enough. It's just so big. Oh, right. Mm. Pretty soon I'll be able to check um, where the ISS is, because I've got an app on my phone. But um, currently I'm just doing an update, so that's why I cannot. Range 50, 50, based on the range ruler measurement. Visual on target nominal, systems are nominal. Copy all. So yeah, awesome. I might, I might just get up, get everything updated by the time it's um. I think on step thirteen of ninety and it's seventy, seventy three percent done it with this bit. So yeah. Mm. 50 meters now separating uh, the two vehicles. Uh, rates are good, and all of uh, Georges Lamatra's systems are functioning perfectly. We're about eight minutes away from its arrival at the next station keeping point called the S4 hold point uh, that uh, will put the, the ATV just 62 feet away from its destination. Okay. Very big spacecraft to say the least. Pretty soon I'll be able to check where the ISS is. I'm not on my phone, unfortunately, but I will be able to do it. I start with the camera. No, screw No, I'm on my computer. Awesome here, just cruising in very slowly, almost the S4 hold point. So yes, very slowly approaching. Well, of course these things are designed to go fast because if it impacted, Houston, we have a problem to say the least. So yeah, um, yeah, approaching very slowly. Range four zero forty, based on the range ruler measurement. Mm -hmm. Visual on target is oh. nominal, systems are nominal. Copy. I think it's 40 feet. Just the feeling. I'm gonna push the talking port to this, and I think they're rotating the camera a bit. So, yeah. Oh, wait one second.